Namaste, Shusha. Welcome, students, to the online session of uh, Financial Management Part 1. I am Professor Avin Vargis from Siusha College of Commerce Management and Computer Education. Tamar Vudanu Hardik Swagat Karuchu, our online session matter. In this difficult times, we want to reach to you in a better manner, which is suited for your online needs. So let us start the financial management one with unit number one, that is introduction to financial management. So what is basically finance? Finance it leshu. So finance it lapanda cover pada finance it le nana thai. So Jarapan Manma finance shop the Yadave, Tarapada Manma Yadave, ke paisa na sambad na lakta vlakta. To paisa presena mata opio kariache, to paisa pra was to kari di karva mate. That is to purchase things as well as develop our own lifestyle. And with that, we want to improve our standard of living. That is by purchasing costlier goods, by using better facilities, by holidaying at a better or expensive places. Now, what are we going to discuss in this particular subject of financial management for BCom semester 5? We are going to understand that what is basically financial management. What is finance and how it can be managed? Which are the various decisions related to finance? So, what types of decisions are being taken in finance? These decisions would be described in detail. In detail, it less okay. For example, dividend decisions, share, working capital decisions, share, sourcing decisions, share. So, all the decisions share. So, what is the basic science or rational behind those decisions that any organization keeps in mind? As the Agyarma ke Barma Thoranti Shiktaevacho, that finance is the lifeblood of business. Finance su kevai? Chief Rakh the kevai, Rakh the kevai, Rakh the sukar as a beta. What is the function of blood basically? The function of blood is transportation. But what does it transport? It transports nutrients, it transports minerals, it transports oxygen. Two various body parts. Alag -alag body part ma je poshakta to kevai che. Sathe sathe oxygen ji vai ji vai kevai che. Abadi was to alag alag body na bhag masu kare che. Pochad vano kam kare che. To any sathe sathe finance pan, nana pan, liquidity pan. Liquidity su kare che. Liquidity ek jagay the bichhi jee ek jagay sudhi nutrient transfer karvano kam kare che. Nutrient itle apne kai shakai the things that develop an organization. So better and optimum utilization of finance would result in greater profitability of a firm. Whether profitability is a firm like finance is sometimes mistaken with accounting. So accounting is based on specific principles. Accounting is specific principles super based. So the specific principles super based. It is specifically based on how the entries are to be entered as well as how the entries are adjusted. adjustments While finance requires analysis as well as implementation of the policies which are formed by past condition as well as present situations. Present situations and past conditions ne dhyan rakta. Je alag alag data analyze karine eva prakar na financial decisions rakhwa. Je koi pan ek firm ne shoo kari shake, paido api shake, benefit api shake. Barabar. So, our pehel ni shathe, our sharuat ni shathe, let us start. What is financial management? So, as it can be seen, that we are starting an online initiative. You are in Department of Commerce. I am Professor Ebin Vargis. And as it has been discussed, that we are in BCom 5 and financial management 1. We had just a brief introduction of uh, what is financial management. Now, we move on to next topic. Uh, what are the various scopes of financial management? Now, scope. What are the different working areas for financial management? We must understand that from a simple purchase of things such as stationery to complex purchases such as machineries or IT equipments or computer peripherals. So, if you have any scopes, you can't do it. So, this is the first thing. First of all, we must understand that there are technically three decisions. There are technically three decisions in financial management. The three decisions in financial management are first is sourcing decisions, second is investment decisions, 
and third is dividend decisions have we apne simple language ni andar samjhi le what are sourcing decisions sourcing decision no matlab su thai sourcing decision no matlab thai che ke kya thi apne nana laviye chhi jem ke koi pan ek vyakti ne paisa ni jarur pade to e kya jaye to samanya rupe badha ke sho ke sir e bank pase jase bank pase shu leshe he the person would be purchase uh, the person would be applying for a loan Loan, loan on the basis of what? Loan on the basis of some salary statement or some kind of mortgage or some kind of safety or security which is being deposited or given to a bank, so that instead of the value that is derived on a future basis, the person can gain liquidity. Liquidity at least so age should I any paisa paisa money jai chhe. But bank ni loan na faida pan chhe saath saath the gear faida pan chhe. हम फायदा गैरफायदा शू कह तो बैंक तक लोन आप दे रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट ओ एक बैंक ना सौ लिमिटेशन शू लिमिटेशन एक छे के बैंक रिक्वायर्स अ रेग्युलर इंस्टॉलमेंट और अ फिक्स्ड पेमेंट बैंक के नॉट वेरी ऑन इट्स वेरियस पॉलिसी सो वॉट डज इट कॉज इट कॉजेस अ टाइप ऑफ फाइनेंशियल बर्डन फाइनेंशियल बर्डन एट व्यक्ति बैंक पास लोन लेने बर्डन रहे बोझ रहे सा बोझ रहे The person is a burden of paying every month installments or equated monthly installments. Whatever person, or in this case, uh, which I'm using in a generic term, I should be very specific. That is, firm. Now, the firm would be having a financial burden of paying EMIs or some kind of uh, regular interval in investments. Now, in in this regular regular interval in investments, there would be some. profitability being generated in the future as well as there might be some losses to aa prakar na decisions ne dhyan ma rakhta source kya thi apne funds karva apart from it banks as well as uh, those deposits which are to be paid in equated monthly installments all of these are what we call as debt sources now what is a debt sources debt etla su kevay debt etla apne khabar pade che ke je apne ek prakar ni ruun bandhai gayi that is we are obligated to pay in future but what about if a firm directly goes to person or a group of people and says ke chalo tame amne paisa atla aapo tame aaj thi a business na malik thai gaya ab malik ne faydo shu che malik ne faydo che ke malik ne profit no bhag male che so what i'm indirectly trying to link i'm indirectly trying to link that any firm can approach capital market now what is a capital market capital market is a share bazaar the person or the firm can directly go to capital market he can follow some procedures there are some procedures to be followed amuk amuk methods follow karvi pade che and he can apply to investors asking for their funds on the basis of their funds jare investors potana funds firm ne ape che firm shu kari sake firm emne so what are the scope of financial management so what i was trying to discuss is first thing that i want to uh, put forward is what are investment decisions so investment decision relates uh, relates to selection of assets in which funds will be invested by a firm the assets which can be acquired fall into two broad categories which are first long term assets so long term assets so matlab su thai long term assets so matlab thai che ke lamba samay na assets jem ke plant kevai building kevai machinery kevai tuk ma capital assets capital assets etle su those assets whose value can be derived for a longer period of time they do not they will not be providing any kind of profitability for a shorter period matlab ek varsh ni andar tumne vartar to nahi acha pe par faydo kya re khabar padche if you want to start a business you require a land that is a by default universal principle that has been accepted by everybody apart from it there are some short term assets now which are the short term assets that we can discuss the short term assets includes a stationery uh apart from it the raw material that is being used for conversion into final products which we have to sell so these short term assets would be creating direct or indirect financial burden but short term assets is also required jem ke koi pad ek plastic ni balti banavti company ne plastic na raw material thi jarur pade te plastic no raw material tame no aapo to e plastic su banavsh એટલે શોર્ટ ટર્મ એસેટ્સ પણ એટલા જ ઇમ્પોર્ટન્ટ છે જેટલા લોંગ ટર્મ એસેટ્સ છે સો ઓન ધ બેઝિસ ઓફ ધ પીરિયોડિસિટી 
we can classify that a short term asset is that asset which can give returns in a duration of one year or less than one year and what are long term assets so long term assets are those assets which can give profitability for a period which is greater than one year now the first of this this following first category of assets there is a specific name for it the first of this involving the first category of assets is popularly known as capital budgeting. Now, what is capital budgeting? Capital budgeting involves a type of decisions which decide which project or which investment opportunities would be. The second type of working decisions is what we call as working capital decisions. Now, what is a working capital decision? The working capital decision is the Karyashil Moody. Karyashil Moody is the same thing. is the same thing. The same thing is the working capital decisions. So, I hope first decision, that is investment decisions, would be very clear to you. We directly move on to the second decision, which is called as dividend policy decisions. Now, what is a dividend policy decisions to understand about dividend policy decisions? One must learn that I told about three types of three types of decisions being taken in a business. That is from where to source the funds. Second, where to use. Third, after utilization of the funds, where to disperse the profits. Profit je apne koi pane firm mati mare. Ena eno vitran ke bhi karo. Kemke vitran to tamna joshat hai koi pane vyakti emnam to kam nathi karvano. Koi koi pane vyakti emnam to funds tamna nathi apna. Koi pane vyakti su demand kare. Bank. Hapta demand kare. Hapta itla su principal plus interest. Koi pan ek shareholder su demand kare. Dividend demand demand kare chhe. So there is always something which is there in return for a definite amount of capital. The third major decision in your financial management is decision relating to dividend policy. The dividend policy should be analyzed in relation to financing the decision of a firm. Two alternatives are available in dealing with the profits of a firm. Which are the two alternatives? They can be distributed to the, to the shareholders in the form of dividends, which we have been discussing henceforth. Atiyar Sudhi Jai, we discussed that. That shareholders need dividend in the form of we should do the profit discuss. Apart from it, there is also an alternative decision. That is, they can be retained in the business itself. Business itself, it lasu. Now, chalo. Our owner has the profit. Leo na thi business ma business ma our paachu mukiya chhe. Chena kare faydo shu business ni pas se vadhar capital re. Business pas se vadhu capital re. Business would have more capital. Business can make better decisions in future. For these better decisions, we could say that this kind of retaining dividend is considered to be a wise decision. But the extent of retaining would be dependent upon the future viability of any product or service. But love, get lot of paisa dandani in the roko cho, e ada rake, ke koi pane project, pavishema, ketli, mulia, dershavich. Jenka pavishema jeva soon a demand create the same matama dandama paisa with a roki shako, so pavich. But koi pan owner kam to sena matakar, but the kamek was to matakarache. Sena matakarache, profit matta. Atwa. Healthy dividend matter. Now, the decision as to which course, which course, matlab, amati kaya decisions apne leva joye, should be dependent upon a significant element in the dividend decision, which is called as the dividend payout ratio. Jenna, dividend payout ratio. So, what is dividend payout ratio? It is already there in the, in the slide. I am going to underline two specific words. Dividend payout ratio is dependent upon that what portion of net profit that is what proportion of net profit should be paid out to shareholders the final decision final decision called final decision would be dependent upon the preference of the shareholders on a investment opportunities investment opportunities shareholder rate of interest dividend simple suppose you bank ma fixed deposit lakh ni fd वर्षे मने आठ टका व्याज मरे तो वर्षे आठ टका व्याज मरे इनो मतलब मने एक वर्षे आठ हजार रुपिया लाख ऊपर मने मरे चे अबे कोई पर इक्विटी शेयर ओल्डर जहाँ पर कोई रोकान करे तो एने लगभग ट्वेल्थ टू फिफ्टीन परसेंट रोकान मर रिटर्न्स मरे चे ट्वेल्थ टू फिफ्टीन परसेंट इतना सु के जो ही लाख रुपिया इन्वेस्टमेंट करे � any investor, any individual, 
there is always a basic underlying principle that is higher the risk higher the return so i hope that uh, what is financial management what are investment decisions what is dividend policy decisions would be clear to you uh, we will be continuing in this next session thank you very much have a nice day